And today I wanted to share this beautiful reflection about animals in the Quran. So how this reflection came in my mind? Well, um, I walk like, you know, 15 minutes uh, every day, which is a must. Um, so this is a health tip too. Uh, so I walk in the evening, like it's like Asr Maghrib time. And the area where I live in, there are a lot of uh, eagles, right? And I'm just walking and I look into the sky every day and I'm like, just observe the flight of one eagle and and observe the flight of eagle in a group in a flock and it's just you just the, the only word that comes from your mind is perfection perfection like each uh, uh the the like for example if there are like 15 or 16 birds uh sorry eagles who are you know flying in a flock they are not going to be clash crash crashing into each other they are just going to be uh at their own altitude flying with their own velocity and uh, with 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 perfection perfection and um further further looking into it you just look at their at their the curvature of the wings that they have and the way they move their you know tail to uh, take the turns and the and the narrowness of the beak that they have to for a streamline uh, effect it's like uh, the physics is encapsulated in it. and from it it's like you get the concept of planes like you know how uh, even though we've you know advanced in science but still but still we are uh, there's still limitation to human human beings like you know uh, in what happens is when there's a, a flight when you're in a plane the pilot has to uh, be in touch with the control tower constantly to elevate to a specific uh, altitude or to you know come down and to land and they have to be in constant constant communication calculation and uh, they have to be vigilant too and over here you're just seeing birds who that have the concept of physics encapsulated in them they're just flying and it's just not uh, the science that's there but the beauty also like uh, the feather each and every single feather uh, the pattern and the color in it is unique and distinct and that's just one bird and, and you know how many species uh, like the number of birds that there uh, there are for me species uh, it's magnificent. It's like the Junood of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the army of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so huge that this is the army that we just see by our eyes. But what about the, that army that is, that army that is, you know, uh, microscopic, like, you know, uh, viruses, fungus, and bacteria. That, that's also the army of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. SubhanAllah, how, how beautiful is uh, the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just, 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 uh, you know, contemplating on just one creation of Allah gives you opens up, up opens up your minds give puts your heart in awe and instills the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in you so with this I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, just uh, gives us that basira that that ability uh, to you know see uh, beyond the objective uh, uh, just just the object of things but and we get to see the planning and perfection and the nature and the organization of Allah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala